Welcome back to VSSK Coders, Python Masterclass Series. Today, in Lecture 3, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of loops. Get ready for an enriching learning experience as we unravel the mysteries of loops and their significance in Python programming. Let's jump right in. Before we delve into the intricacies of loops, let's take a moment to outline the topics we'll cover in today's lecture. Firstly, let's explore what a loop is and why it holds immense importance in Python programming. A loop is a powerful construct that allows us to execute a block of code repeatedly. It enables automation and efficiency in our programs by eliminating the need for repetitive manual tasks. In Python, we have two main types of loops, the for loop and the while loop. Let's unravel the syntax of each and understand their unique uses. The for loop iterates over a sequence, such as a list or a range of numbers, and executes the block of code for each item in the sequence. Here's the syntax of the for loop in Python. In this code, item represents each element in the sequence, and the code block inside the loop is executed for each item. Now, let's see an example of the for loop in action. In this example, the for loop iterates over the fruits list and prints each fruit on a new line. The range function is often used with the for loop to generate a sequence of numbers. The range function generates a sequence of numbers starting from 0 by default, and increments by 1, and stops before a specified number. Here's an example of using the range function with the for loop. In this example, the for loop iterates over the sequence generated by the range function and prints each number from 0 to 4. On the other hand, the while loop continues to execute the block of code as long as the specified condition remains true. Here's the syntax of the while loop in Python. In this code, the block of code inside the while loop is executed repeatedly as long as the condition remains true. Now, let's see an example of the while loop in action. In this example, the while loop prints the numbers from 1 to 5, incrementing the value of i in each iteration. Understanding iteration is key to mastering loops. It refers to the process of repeating a set of instructions a specified number of times. To determine the number of iterations a loop will have, you can use various methods such as counting the elements in a sequence or calculating based on specific conditions. We'll explore this concept further in future lectures. Now, let's compare the for loop and the while loop. While they both serve similar purposes, they have distinct advantages over each other. The for loop is ideal for iterating over a known sequence, while the while loop shines when the number of iterations is uncertain and determined by a condition. Now, let's see our question of the day. Which type of loop would you use to iterate over a list of items? Share your answers in the comments below. As we approach the end of our lecture, it's time for the solution to our question of the day. The for loop is used to iterate over a list of items, making it the ideal choice for this scenario. Thank you to everyone who participated. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest tutorials. Remember, your feedback and questions are valuable to us. Feel free to drop your doubts and queries in the comments section below. Thank you for joining us today on this insightful journey through loops in Python. Stay curious, keep coding, and until next time, happy looping!